Good morning and welcome to school today. It is February the 14th, Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I've seen lots of pink and red for kind this week as well. We don't have a song to sing today, so let's go ahead and get our day started by standing for the Pledge to the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, let's see what we're having for lunch today on the 14th of February. Okay, this is what it says. Cheesy baked rotini with cheese-filled breadstick, breadstick, steamed broccoli, mango wango juice, and peaches. Let's see if we have any February birthdays. I know we have at least one February Valentine's Day birthday. It looks like we've got two or three. My goodness, we have three of them. Today is Ian Wetzel's birthday. It is Emery Markham's birthday, and it is Aaron Von Verde's birthday. No teacher birthday. So you guys come at lunchtime, and I'll get you a birthday balloon. All right, our um, Black History Month um, per, uh, quote for the day is, the proof that one truly believes is in action. That's Bayard Taylor Rustin, um, and he worked with Dr. Martin Luther King. Teachers, remember that they're coming today to do the video um, of what we're doing for Black History Month. That's a district kind of initiative. So if you've not gotten your posters up or your, not your posters, but your um, little things in the squares and stuff, please make sure you're doing those because that is part of what we need to do during the month of February. Remember that our mission here at Red Oak Elementary is to um, have academic excellence, be super, super smart, be a nurturing environment, so thinking with our heart, making sure everybody feels well, and then look into the future, being ready for life, passion and purpose. Our manner of the week is if you go to someone's house, be sure to thank their parents when you leave because those were kind of your hostesses, okay, or host and hostesses. I do not know what's going on with this. So bizarre. Okay, so it's kindness week today. Everybody's wearing pink and red. Tomorrow is workout wear Wednesday. We're going to work out our problems with kindness, okay? And don't forget that during kindness week, every day you've got a daily kindness mission um, that the teachers are looking for. Um, there's a coin scavenger hunt, and so there are different color coins you should be looking for. Um, and then there are some golden tickets um, for students who have really embodied kindness, okay? All right, let's see, I did that part. Oh, we have a zillion coats in Lost and Found, so please take a minute and look for the, look through those. At the end of February, we're sending them to the Salvation Army, okay, or to Southland or one of those places. All right, our word part for today is geo, and that means ground or earth, like um, geography is the study of the earth, ground, all of those map kind of things. Um, let's see, geometry, how does geometry fit in that? I'll have to think on that one, too. But usually there's shapes and spaces and things like that with geometry too. So maybe that's it. But geo usually means world. Um, okay, and then congratulations to Mr. Shelton's class. They have completed eight Red Oaks charts. Got those things. Okay, now let's see. We've got a couple of other things for our jokes. Here are some ready to roll models. Caleb McLeod in Miss Houston's room chose code blue instead of arguing with someone. Excellent. Anna Bubchenik came right in and got started. Ellie Birch was silent and set a good example. Dahlia Brown uh, set a good example in the hallway. Christian Stamper set a good example in the hallway. Alicia in Ms. Quinn's class was excellent in music, and um, so was Gianni. Lyron Ky Kyron Livers Ms. And from Ms. Anderson was on task during writing class. Will Wyman always is a leader. Oksana Kanyeko is great engagement in math. Bradley Hall demonstrates what a Raider role model does in the hallway. Carter Hammond sang the Red Oak song and national anthem loud and proud. Thank you, Carter. Um, these folks, Everly, Gia, Laura, Rosa, and Emmeline, showed maturity in handling a an uncomfortable situation by going straight to their teachers. Good job, girls. I know that's hard sometimes. Rosa Biranoff gets, sets a great example in our hallway. Uh, uh, la, la, la. Sutton Pickerel did a great job in music, and so did Collins Abbott. Arena and Miss Perkins' class did a great job on day one. Chloe in Miss Perkins' class was an active listener. Tyson in Miss Perkins' class was an active listener. Eva in Miss Perkins' class was an active listener. Um, Artem in Miss 
Perkins Foss did a great job. Sawyer Fritz is always willing to help. McKenna and Miss Quinn's class set a good example. Tegan and Miss McDermott's class did an awesome job. Declan Burgess did a nice job in music, and um, Tegan was also music. Preston um, included his whole group doing group work for Miss Wicks's room. I got to see some of that work. That was very cool. Um, Zach Hickman used rock, paper, scissors to break a tie. Very good way to do that. And Ethan Lanter also was part of that rock, paper, scissors to break a tie. All right, we've got some jokes. Let's see. I have a really good joke from my little friend Shelby. Okay, I'm hoping that Shelby's mom will show him this joke. He, he sent it to me last night. Um, what did the cook say to his girlfriend? You're baking me crazy. I like that one a whole lot. So, Miss uh, Rupert, make sure you get that to that little guy for me. All right, interesting fact. Turtle doves are a symbol of love. Doves are one of the few species of birds that drink by sucking water, turtle doves are, instead of filling their bill and letting the water trickle down their throat. So I guess turtle doves kind of do it like we do, like a straw, and other birds like scoop it up in their beak and then do this so the water goes down. All right, what type of flower should you avoid giving on Valentine's Day? It's a good one. If you're gonna give a bouquet of this, you're not gonna get any kisses. Um, cauliflower, that's funny too. And let's see, why did the baseball player go to jail? because he stole second base. That one's old too. We're getting into the jokes that are around when I was a little girl. All right, let's say our Red Oak expectations, please. Everybody's saying them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Respect ourselves, others, and our place. Expect to learn, do our best, own our behavior, always treat others the way you want to be treated, and know we can. It's super important to me that you're kind to one another, that you keep your hands and feet to yourselves, and that our hallways are and bath rooms are silent, okay? Um, teachers, we have learning time this afternoon and our little treats for the hearts game. Your hearts in your mailbox, please go get that. If you haven't, make sure that your sides match too, not just the numbers, okay? Because Miss Diane's going to be checking for that too. And then go see, <clears throat> see Miss Diane or Miss Wanda for your prize, okay? We, we're going to keep the hearts, so we can use those again next year. Have a fabulous day. Have fun. I know your teachers have some fun things planned. I'd hate for you to have to miss out on that and have to hang out in the office with me, okay? Oop, the lights are going out. Have a great day. Do your work and do it well. Love you guys.